Have you ever gotten a synthetic wig and found that it had all of these stray flippies that were driving you crazy? Well, I know a lot of you have purchased this thinning razor that I have shown over and over in my videos because I find it to be a, an essential item for any wig wear. Makes little trims, fixing bangs, super easy. And here's another way that I use it. So on a wavy or curly piece, you know, Sometimes you get them and the curls, the waves, the layers aren't perfect. It may be because of how it was manufactured. It may be because of how it's sitting on your head with your head size and shape. It may just be that it's after wearing it a few times, some of the curls and waves go a little wonky. On a layered piece like this especially, this is perfect. So I just sort of play with the piece. I've already done this a few times on this piece already, so I probably don't have a lot to do, but I'll find a little wanger like right there and I just take my thinning razor and I do a a downward stroke to keep that lay the, the layering in place and there was one piece over here and then I messed with it and because this is already layered and you're only doing little tiny snips here and there you're not at risk of over cutting it and sometimes I'll even add in more layers like that wasn't a winger necessarily but I felt as though it didn't lay right with the rest of the piece so if you've purchased a thinning razor but you're not sure of the different applications to use it this is one sometimes I'll even take and pieces like this I'll just trim them up a little bit to add a little bit of baby hairs right around the face I just think the use of this is unlimited. So wanted to give you guys that tip today.